Well, we continue with our latest A-Sun basketball preview, and we'll move to North Alabama and take a look at their two clubs. On the women's side, their head coach, Missy Tiber, and joining us from her team is Olivia Noah, and on the men's side, Tony Pujol with Peyton Youngblood joining us. And first of all, uh, Missy, give us a feel for your group as a whole. This has got to be very unique. For the first time in a long time, you don't have one of the Wallen sisters, and you're having to adjust on the fly in the midst of a pandemic. How challenging has that been? Well, um, it's been challenging um, as we anticipated it would be. Um, you don't replace Ivy and the rest of that senior class. Uh, they're irreplaceable. Uh, the all time winningest uh, senior class in the history of our program. But I am fortunate to have Olivia Noah here on the call with us. And I feel like she has the potential to be one of the best players in ASUN this year. Um, we had three returning players uh, from a year ago um, that really, they came off the bench, but at many times they played starter minutes. So we're pretty happy about that, but we're, very, we're extremely youthful, extremely. Uh, I'm getting my hair highlighted every about every four weeks now, instead of about every eight weeks. And that's those strands of glitter you call it over here on the side. And, uh, but no, it's, it's been, it's been, um, you know, it's just been a challenge and, and it will be uh, throughout the course of the year because we're dealing with so many things. Like you mentioned, you're dealing with COVID, you're dealing with a new team, you're dealing with so many new players added in, into the mix. But one thing that we have is these kids understand what it takes to win. So I'm looking forward to coaching them this year. Tony, as you get set to begin your third year, how challenging has it been in a COVID world and what's been the greatest challenge for you in coaching during, you know, COVID-19? Well, you know, I think I think you look at this whole scenario, and you, and you, and you, it's it's almost like a perfect storm. We've got so many things going on in our country right now, uh, out, like you're saying through COVID, you know, the, the social injustice, deal, an election. I mean, there's so many things going on. Uh, what what I what I my my staff and our players have been really focusing on is um, trying to keep all the noise outside of our little bubble here, if you will, right. Our focus is simply on uh, making sure these guys are doing their, you know, taking care of their business in the classroom, taking care of their business on the court. Um, you know, it, it's been challenging, if you will, uh, but I think it's also a wonderful opportunity for us to adapt. And uh, I think our guys and our staff have been doing a great job doing, uh, taking care of that. And speaking of adapting, we're doing this over Zoom because we're in a COVID world. So that said, Olivia, tell me what it's been like trying to lead as one of the more experienced players on a team while all of you at times have to be somewhat separated because of the pandemic. Yeah, it's definitely been different um, than last year or previous years. Uh, I don't think everybody, anybody's ever experienced something like this. Um, but I think really just trying to make the most of our time when we are together at practice or um, we try to do things outside that are safer, like get togethers at our apartments and whatnot, um, and just really trying to get to know each other really well since we are a very new team and we only have three returners or four. So. And in contrast, Peyton, you guys have a more veteran group, a lot of guys back. So what's the chemistry like and what's been the greatest challenge for you as a student athlete in a COVID world? Uh, we did have the opportunity to develop the chemistry over the summer. Once again, like you said, we do have an experienced group. Uh, the new guys have adjusted well. I'd say as, as a whole, we get along. We mesh really well. All the guys love each other. We have fun hanging out. Uh, the difficulty would probably be just not having that full time, though. Uh, with the COVID, there's some social distancing, a lot of extracurricular activity. We don't get as much anymore. So it just becomes really growing and developing those relationships when we're together as a team that, that, that has been the most challenging. Missy, from your standpoint, you mentioned the large recruiting class that you brought in. Do you have a feel yet for who's kind of emerging among those newcomers who can join Olivia and kind of be key parts of this year's group? Yeah, I really feel like we've really had two freshmen, or actually maybe three freshmen that have really stepped up. And, uh, you know, there, there's days where, and I think that's part of being a freshman, where they look like they're a superstar, and then maybe for the next two days, they kind of disappear. And that's part of it. Um, but Alexis Cowens, I'm really pleased with her progress and Macy Lee. And then our, um, our point guard, one of our point guards, Olivia Knight, is really starting to pick things up as of late. And we have a freshman post player, uh, 6'2", Sakaya White, 
who is really developing. She has such a high ceiling. And it's just a matter of, and she desires to learn and try to get better. And she's working extremely hard to do that. But we're going to rely uh, heavily upon some freshmen this year. And uh, they're going to be kind of thrown to the wolves. And I remember that happening to Emma and Ivy Wallen uh, several years ago. So sometimes that, that just happens. But um, I think this is a good year to do it in. You know, it, it's almost kind of like a free year of basketball for them. I told them I wish I could go back and get my fifth year and, and have another year to play. Um, so it is, it's going to be a, a year of learning, uh, of growing together. And like the guy said, it, you know, it's been challenging because so many of the things that you use to build the chemistry of the program, and this team gets along extremely well. I've been so blessed in that aspect. They really root for each other and cheer for each other's success. But some of those outside activities like Peyton met, uh, mentioned, you know, just aren't existing right now. And that's the part that I truly feel bad about for all student athletes across the board, not just here at UNA. They're missing a little bit of the true college experience, but uh, hopefully uh, these freshmen can come along and our upperclassmen can do their job until then. Tony, in contrast to the women's program, you guys really have a lot back from last year. You've got four of your top five returning scorers. So uh, who's taken a big jump from what you can guess from the guys who are returning and maybe among the newcomers who has a chance to kind of join that fray a bit? Well, we, we've told our guys uh, from day one that uh, the newcomers are coming in to come and help you guys. Um, the guys that we're depending on, obviously, the Jamari Blackmans of the world, who was the A-Sun Freshman Player of the Year his freshman year. Uh, guys like Manny Littles, who will be the active le leading rebounder in the league once the, the, the league begins. Um, you know, uh, the, these guys, the Peyton Youngbloods, the Alexa Matic, guys that have been here, for, th those are the guys that we're relying on, their leadership, their, their work ethic, the, just, just holding up the standard, right? And uh, for, for us, those are the guys that we're depending on. As far as newcomers are concerned, obviously really, really excited about a few guys. Um, Isaac, Isaac Chapman, uh, junior college transfer from Northeast Mississippi, who, who, who's an Alabama, uh, Alabama young man who played at Cordova High School. Um, you know, we're, we're excited about some of these newcomers, Detalian Brown and uh, Jonathan Breland. We, we've got some guys that we think some pieces that are really gonna help this team, especially give us depth in, 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 in all those positions. Um, as, as far as what my expectation is, um, again, it just rely, I rely on the guys that have been here, okay? And uh, our, our thing moving forward now is uh, continue to grow as a team, uh, continue to bring those new guys along, and uh, let's see what happens. Olivia, how has your game grown? You're going to have, obviously, increased opportunity. We've touched on that. What have you done to kind of prepare yourself physically and mentally? Um, the coaches have definitely, we've definitely talked about strengths and weaknesses and things like that and areas where I'm going to have to do a little bit more um, than I did last year, whether that's leading the team and being more vocal or just developing other parts of my game. Um, they've worked with me a lot on my shooting and I definitely need to rebound more this year. Um, so it's just going to be a matter of figuring out what I need to pick up um, from the team. And Peyton, on your end, obviously, Coach mentioned some of the returning players, Jamari Blackman and Manny Littles, coming with, you know, obviously great credentials from a year ago. How has your game grown um, from last season, and, and what kind of leadership role do you play? Uh, well, on the court, definitely just shooting the ball. Uh, once again, being solid on the defensive end. Uh, but then the biggest focus for me of lately has mostly been the mental aspect of it. Uh, being the most tenured guy on the squad, uh, my job is really to provide a sense of leadership, uh, provide a sense of, of um, intelligence with the game and communication. So that's been the biggest area in which I'm trying to grow and, and moving in that direction is just communicating with the guys, letting them know what needs to be done, what kind of effort we're putting out, uh, what kind of focus we need to have so we can be successful. Missy, as we get to close this out, as you look forward, if this is to be a successful season for the North Alabama wins team, I mean, you guys did win over 20 games last year. What are you, what are you doing this season really, really well? I really feel like this is one of the best shooting teams, and I tell our team on a daily basis that I've had in my coaching career. Uh, we really can put the ball in the basket. Um, we have nine girls that at any time can shoot the lights out of the ball, and Olivia will attest to that. 
And that's going to be the fun thing with this team. Um, maybe in years past, even the last couple of years, we weren't able to do that at every position consistently. But this year, we will be able to do that. So that's one thing uh, that I'm looking forward to. Now, know much about defense? Not quite yet, but we'll figure that out. But offensively, we can uh, we can score the ball. Uh, so that's good. Uh, that's a plus for us for this season. And Tony, your club went eight and eight in league last year. So to kind of take a, a step forward and move really into that upper echelon in the A Sun, what types of things do you need to do well this year? Well, I think we need to continue to grow as a team, uh, and, and especially the way we we started, you know, two years ago. Right? We our our, our identity is going to be on the defensive end of the floor, and uh, we want to create balance on the offensive end. That last year. Uh, proud to say that, you know, top, our top seven players averaged seven points and above uh, with our leading score not averaging more than 12 points a game. So we want to be as balanced as we can offensively. Uh, but again, where we hang our hat is always going to be on the defensive end of the floor. We talk to our guys about guarding their position and, and about, you know, playing together. And uh, obviously when we when we defend, it gives us an opportunity to be in every game that we play in. So th those are the things I think we're harping on with our guys and uh, look forward to definitely uh, applying that in the games. Well, Missy Tiber, Tony Pujol, Olivia Noah, and Peyton Youngblood, we certainly appreciate the time. We wish you a lot of success this year at North Alabama, and we thank you for joining us for our latest A-Sun basketball preview.